No need for a heads up when there's a fly ball these days. No one is in the stands. Just some cardboard cutout sitting in for fans. The Major League preseason is underway in the U.S., but no games will be played in Toronto this season. That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. I don't think it's smart, you know, having them go back and forth down to the States, so I was expecting it. The federal government has banned the Jays from playing at home because officials believe the risk of COVID transmission is too high, particularly now that cases in the U.S. are surging. We respect the decision. Uh, it's not hard to reflect uh, and think about how well managed, how well led uh, the virus has been throughout Toronto and Canada. So the Jays will need a new home. They may play in Dunedin, Florida, where the team does spring training, or Buffalo, New York, where its AAA team plays. While the Major League is set to begin games July 24th, the Minor League has been shelved altogether. There are no games this season, and 164 stadiums like this one are sitting vacant in North America. All the players are, I guess, kind of like uh, in a flight holding pattern right now. Up Rob Fay works for the Vancouver Canadians, a single-A team affiliated with the Blue Jays. Baseball's been so focused on getting Major League Baseball back that I think what's really been swept under the carpet is Minor League Baseball. And all of these different players who, again, don't make a lot of money, they're trying to make their ends meet and support their young families as well. They're at home, lifting weights, wondering what's going to happen this year. We're living in an alternate universe. As for the Major Leagues, the 60-game season will look different. No team dugout and no spitting. Players and staff are being tested for COVID-19 every 48 hours. In the past two weeks, 23 have tested positive. Despite that, the league believes it has enough precautions in place and it's time to play ball. And right up the middle. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.